Welcome to another episode of Healthy Eating with local health coach, Lisa Spector. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Alyssa. Thanks so much for having me. Hey, you're always welcome here. So what are we going to make today? One pot pasta. I am excited. I'm seeing all these ingredients. I'm smelling Italian. This is going to be great. In the last year, this is, I think, one of my best recipes. It's easy, it's really delicious, it's really healthy, and oh my gosh, I can't wait for you to try it. I'm excited, how do we start? Okay, we're going to start, you know I wanna make things easy in the kitchen, mm -hmm. so this is half a bag of frozen chopped peppers and onions. We're just gonna go ahead and go. So we're going to saute this, and notice I didn't put any oil in there. No oil, no salt no or anything yet either. Oil, no salt, no anything. We want this to kind of caramelize on the bottom. Okay. Can you smell it starting to caramelize now? Look mm -hmm. right there. You see that? Oh, I can see that. See the brown? Browning, starting to brown. Yeah. Excellent. All right. And that's what we want. We definitely want that. Okay. See all that in the yeah. bottom? Yeah. That is flavor. Yum. We want that. We like that. It's really good. Oh, that good. smells amazing. Right? Okay. So now, okay. go ahead and add the jakes. Okay. Okay, and we'll go ahead and add the spices. Okay, which one for it? Doesn't matter? It doesn't matter. That's the oregano. Oh, I love oregano. So that's about a teaspoon of oregano. Okay. And then there's well, about half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of onion powder and garlic powder. And the basil. Start to smell it. Oh my gosh, it. it smells like an Italian restaurant. Right? Because mm. that's what we're making right here in our kitchen. Yes. In no time flat for dinner. So go ahead and add that. Okay. It's about a half a package of kale. So you know, I try to get 30 different types of vegetables and fruits mm -hmm. and beans and grains every week. Really? 30 different kinds. That's a lot of vegetables. It seems like a lot, but let's just look at how many we already have going on in here. That's true. Peppers, onions, kale. We've got three going right there. We're about to add another, and that Ooh, that's is- Oh, that's my favorite. Zucchini, which I'm telling you, how easy is zucchini to chop? Look. Pretty easy. Do it in one way, then the other way, then you just chop it into quarters this mm -hmm. way and in no time flat, you have your zucchini all chopped up. That took, what, 30 seconds? Yep. So that's the only thing we've chopped so far. It's the only thing we've chopped, and it's the only thing we're going to chop. Really? Unless, except for some basil for the top. When right. We're done. Gotta have that fresh basil. Yes. There's nothing like fresh basil. For sure. So what ultimately we would like to do is let the zucchini cook a little bit, so mm -hmm. it's about halfway. Now we're going to add half a jar of really good quality pasta sauce. Okay. That looks good. Normally I would put some water in there and get all that out of there. Oh, really? Yeah, I want all of it. That's another food Every hack. Every little bit. Okay, then you can go ahead and stir sure. that a little bit. We have rigatoni pasta here. Yum. And we could use lasagna and just break it apart. Uh -huh. And we'd have lasagna pasta, like a lasagna mm. almost without all the work. Mm -hmm. and that's what this tastes like. It's super delicious. So this is going to kind of be like a casserole almost. Kind of like. You can serve it in a casserole dish or you can serve it in the pot that you're making it in. That's now, amazing. we're going to add water. Okay. How much? So this is two cups, and we have four more cups over there. Okay. We're gonna add about half of that, and I'm gonna see how that looks. Okay. So traditionally, I've added about four cups. Tell me when. That's good. All right. Now, it looks like soup right now, mm -hmm. but remember, we just put in dry pasta. Right. So this is going to cook for about 20 minutes. Just, you're gonna cook this until the pasta is done and the whole thing is done. Wow, okay, so that's then it. when that's done, will you put that in a dish and bake it or is that no, done? No, that's done. That's done, done. That's done, done. Sounds great. Well, we'll let this cook for about 20 minutes and we'll be right back with the finished product. And just like that, Lisa, we have our one pot pasta. One pot pasta. I happen to put it in a nice little casserole just for, you know, 
it's pretty aesthetically pleasing. Aesthetically you know. pleasing. Serve at the table. Eat with your eyes. We do love to eat with our eyes here at Healthy Eating. Absolutely. <laughs> a little fresh basil mm -hmm. right on top. Could you put cheese on top if you wanted you to? You could put cheese on top. Mm. You could put vegan cheese on top. Yum. You could put, hey, if you wanted to make it more like a lasagna, you could swirl in some ricotta cheese. Ooh, okay. That would be amazing, but this looks so good on its own. I think we need to take it. I definitely want you to try it. I can't wait. All right. Oh, this looks amazing. It smells amazing. All right. Cheers. Cheers. That's a happy dance. That is so good. Lisa, yet again, Another masterpiece. If you Thank guys you. would like to try this recipe on your own, go to our website, ky3.com slash the place. We'll put that on there. And also mindfullyawarehealth.com where Lisa will put all her recipes. Lisa, thank you so much. Thanks, We Lisa. need to eat the rest of this. Let's do it.